Welcome back to another episode of Games You Never Played. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're playing Mr. Gimmick. Mr. Gimmick released in 1992 by Sunsoft in Japan and Scandinavia. It was specifically rejected by Sunsoft North America for release because reasons? Uh, I, I don't quite understand. I, I did a little bit of reading. Um, essentially, Sunsoft said it was inappropriate for the North American market. Um, I think that's just code for the fact that this game came out in 1992 when the Super Nintendo and other 16-bit consoles existed. And this was an NES game. And um, you'll notice, uh, you may have already noticed, the, the graphics look quite advanced for the NES. And this is probably one of the more advanced NES games out there. The developer for this um, had a large staff and they employed all sorts of tricks uh, with the NES's memory system and chips in order to produce one of the most advanced NES games out there. The problem is, though, if you're comparing this to a Super Nintendo game, it does look rather basic. Um, the whole story behind Mr. Gimmick, by the way, is that Mr. Gimmick is a little creature who's mistaken for a toy. He's given to a girl on her birthday, and now he must live a life of servitude. However, she gets kidnapped, and he must follow her into dreamland to save her or something like that. So anyway, uh, we're playing the Scandinavian release here. Again, not European Scandinavian. It was only in Sweden, I guess, which is a Scandinavian country. If I got that right, it's Sweden, not Switzerland. But it was only Sweden who imported the game. Uh, and Japan. So chances are you never played this game. If you did, well, I don't know why you're watching the video then. Anyway, today we're going to check out the game. Oh, I got to set up my controller, man. It has been a while on the NES here. All right, into the world of Mr. Gimmick. Now, I am all for playing a super advanced NES game, and so I'm excited to see what this game has to offer here. So this game has been compared to Kirby. Um, I don't know too much about it. I just saw like a little video on it seeing that this game existed and oh my god, there's stuff everywhere. Um, frankly, I haven't played enough NES games recently. I've been so busy with other things. So here's a, a fun little bit of uh, trivia for folks who watch my channel. Oh god, and we're dead already. This game does have notorious difficulty from what I've read. Um, <clears throat> oh god. Okay, these ramps, like, really project you. Oh, and you can push that thing? What the heck? What is going on? Okay, so you just have to go. Interesting. Can we kill that guy? Okay, we can. Anyway, for people who watch my channel, you may or may not know, but I often pre-record videos for... You know, I, I usually build up a stock of pre-recorded videos because what ends up happening in my day-to-day -day life is that sometimes I get busy and I can't record stuff for like, you know, a week or two at a time. And so if I don't, oh, we just died again. Is that game over? No, not yet. So if I don't have a reserve of videos built up, what happens would be, it, it would be my channel would just go dead. Um, so I often have some kind of reserve of, uh, of videos. And if you've been watching my channel recently, you've been watching reserve videos because I have not recorded a video in like three weeks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that water or spikes or both? It's, it's spiky water. I thought I was just falling in... Uh, I thought I was just falling in uh, water there, but that's straight up spikes. Oh shit, is that game over? <laughs> Okay, we're going to try a lot harder than this. Anyway, if you've been watching my channel recently, it's all been reserves. The last uh, uh, several weeks, I have been just busy with so many things. And if you know, you're know you on the Discord for my uh, Battletech fan game, you know that I've been working pretty hard on that thing. Um, and so if you're wondering where all my time's going, you know, between my life and uh, Battletech, that basically is it. But um, I'm hoping to find... To strike a better balance with things moving forward. And, uh, so long story short, trying to get back on the old video game wagon here. And, uh, one of my favorite kind of games are old NES games, because they, remi they remind me of growing up as a kid. Uh, and, uh, oh god. So this is a good one that I've never played, hence, we shall play. 
Okay, hold on. What do these potions do? There must be a way to... Oh, there we go. Okay, I probably should figure out what these different potions do. Oh, look, I have a ball. Oh, interesting. Ow. <laughs> Jeez. Now, again, this game is noted for its notorious difficulty. It is a children's game. Um... But it is quite hard. In the 80s, we were, like, really hard on kids, man. Like, really hard. We were like, you like video games? Try playing this, you little punk. And your kid would bust down into tears because Ninja Turtles on the NES is brutal and unfair. You'd be like, that's life, kid. Try working 9 to 5 and then coming home to a snot-nosed kid who all he wants to do is play Nintendo. Prepare for disappointment in life. Oh, we jumped up here. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, I don't know why video games were so hard in the 80s. We've definitely toned it down these days. Although, truthfully, a good gaming challenge can be quite fun. Okay, I don't know how to get up there. Oh, you dick. Oh, this is my- this is where I'm gonna die. Oh my god. These things can jump?! What the hell?! <laughs> he jumped me off a platform. Oh, you- yeah, I fell for it again. Oh my god. Oh, you can go down the pipe. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with those things. There's a guy in there. He's just watching me. Huh. All oh, the stars useless, man. <laughs> All right. Th th that was a test run. That was just a test run. There is a continue option, so hopefully we can look up some passwords when we invariably get stuck and actually can't make it anywhere in this game. Okay, hold on. I don't know what that pink potion is. Oh, the orange one just healed me a little. So that's what that does. Uh, like, I feel like there's somewhere to go up here, but... I don't know if I can figure it out. Uh, I will say I hate the star. The star blows. It bounces all over the place, never hits the... Like, it went over the dude I shot it at, and then it went into a pipe. <laughs> How's that helpful, star? How is that helpful? Alright. Trying to go more methodically here. Oh, god damn it. Alright, well, whatever. We made it here without dying. This is actually kind of a cool section. You're sort of underwater and you see the fish. I will say... I, I will admit it does feel like a pretty advanced Nintendo game. But even still, like, it doesn't feel like so advanced. Like, if some of the things in the background weren't there, and, you know, some of the, I don't know, environments were just a little simpler, I think the game would play virtually the, the same. Um, oh my god. Oh my god! What is happening? Why are some bad guys invincible? Oh! I see the fucking star in the garbage! It just threw the- How is that a weapon? The enemy's running right at you, and you literally throw your weapon on the ground at his feet. Yeah, great strategy, little green ball. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, he came back! He respawned! Oh, they're coming to kill me! Oh my god, run! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, they, he, he followed me across the screen! Oh god, I just jumped in a pit and died! Wait, how are you supposed to beat that guy? Oh, I fell for it again! This game's impossible, yo! What the heck? Huh? Oh no! Oh no! no, no. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the? He threw like a billion guys at me. Die! We did it. Holy hell! <laughs> that was one level out of 39. I'm kidding. I don't. Oh my god! So a little guy like from Mario. I don't actually know if there's 39 levels or not. I presume there are not. Um, in really old NES games, it would often have like four levels and each would be virtually impossible. Because they'd be like, we're not making more levels, so just make them hard as fuck. And then nobody would be able to beat them. Kids would lie in the schoolyard. They're like, yeah, I'd be level four of Karate Kid. What up? You know, like, what happens at the end? Like, a dragon comes out, and you're like, that sounds like it could be possible. Because you definitely didn't beat level 4. You're like, I can't tell if you're lying, but... I'll believe you. 
These blocks look straight ripped out of Mario 3 right here. Like, see these blocks right here? This looks like Mario 3, man. Oh. You know what else this kind of reminds me of is Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. For some reason, I'm getting sort of a Rescue Ranger vibe here. Oh god, I need health. Is this health? Oh, that ball did work. Boom! Alright, well that... that was helpful. Always just carry a random star above your head! Oh god! It's a big strong guy! Die! Did I get an extra life for killing him? He looked like one of my own. You murder one of your own, you get extra points. Ooh, a cannonball. Hold on, do I want to go that way? What happens if I just push this off the edge here? Nothing. Okay. So yeah, we definitely want to go here. Ah! Whoa! Yeah, Kirby meets Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Kind of. Kind of meets Mario, too, because you can jump on the heads of guys, but you don't squish them. Whoa! Okay. Oh, it's a pirate guy. Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna kill me! Ugh, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh god. How do you- how are you supposed to get this guy? Oh god. Ah! Get away from me! <laughs> he was chopping away all my stars! Huh. Okay. So- He kinda like wants to make you walk the plank. Ugh. Oh god. Okay, I got one hit on him. Did you see that? He was like blinking for a second. Okay, maybe when he's... No, he just gets you in a corner and, sh and hacks you to bits. Oh, we got him. Oh. Okay, it's about bouncing the star so it like hits him in the head. Oh my god, he's gonna kill us. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, he just committed suicide! Wait, does that count? What? <laughs> I, <laughs> I beat him! <laughs> Technical- Wait, what? What happened? Did I beat him or not? It looks like it kind of counted that as a victory. That is so weird. Oh. Okay. Come on, you bastard. Oh, God, no! Ugh. Oh, no, you bastard! Back off! What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? He was on my ass the whole time I couldn't move! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is some next- Okay, no, wait, I understand- I understand now. Oh my god. In North America, they wanted to spare us the crime that was Mr. Gimmick. Also, fun fact, this game is just called Gimmick in Japan. They didn't need the Mr. I guess in uh, Scandinavia, they were like, wait, 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 what kind of gender is this thing? We can't... We can't have some sort of gender ambiguous figure here. Make him a Mr. That'll make him seem tougher. Little green cream puff needs all the toughness he can get. Fuck! Damn it! I know I'm swearing like a sailor in today's episode, but it's just sort of free flowing out of me. I don't often swear in my uh, games, but sometimes it's fun too. You know, I think it's because this game looks so like childish and friendly that I'm like, we gotta hardcore this thing up a bit. I'm, I'm like the 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 Swedes, the Scans, the Scandinavian folk. I'm like, we can't. It, he's too innocent looking. Make him a mister, make him divorced, behind on child pay support payments. Give him some tattoos and cigarette burns. Let's make this thing hardcore, man. Maybe it's because the game is so hard, too. 
The difficulty makes it feel like it should be a much harder character than it is, you know, like... A hardened character, I mean. Oh, Jesus, okay. So I think the level itself isn't too bad. Um... Kill everything here. Okay, here's my strategy. I think you can get a bomb or something like that. Oh, you can ride the stars. Didn't know that. Come get me, buddy. Oh, God. Ah, oh, you dick. Oh, no! Alright, I guess we should not try and warp away. Oh, bastard. He's gonna get me! Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! You serious? Oh, God. Why is this game so hard? This game was made for children. I, you know, I, again, I... You know, I've said I was on the creator's side, and I'm like, yeah, why would they release this game in North America? I know why, man. I understand. I get it. Oh, God, burn this game. Burn it hardcore. Even after you kill an enemy, they still land on you and injure you. A one hit left, I gotta kill this stupid green thing. I say... Fuck it. I was gonna say we just run for it. Kill this anyway. GAME OVER! <laughs> we didn't even make it to the boss this time. Holy... Shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I have one hit left. Why does it start you with only two hits? I mean, I guess that is- I guess in Mario you start with only one hit, so... It's no better, no worse, but... Jeez, man. This is a hard game. This game had to come out at the end of the NES's lifespan, because you needed... the years, the decades of experience on the NES to train you... to play a game like this. And I'm not saying I'm the best gamer in the world, you know, I'm certainly, you know... Got my demons, but this is roughness, man. This is, like, this is like the kind of game you prank your friends with. They're like, hey man, you wanna play like my sister's game? It's like some little game by a little green puff dude bouncing around. And you sit in the background, laugh your ass off, so your friends like whipping the controller against the wall, like, what the fuck? Not again! <laughs> Why is this game so unfair? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, question. Decision time. Do we fight this thing or do we bail? So we fight, man. We fight. Hardcore. Yes! Mm, didn't take a hit, bitch! That's how you do. Oh, God, and we took a hit on that thing. And that thing. Oh, we wasted our bomb, man. Oh, God. This terrible effing weapon, the stupid bouncing star. Most useless weapon in the history of weapons. Okay, full health. Let's do this. Okay. Oh. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, god, bastard. Just jump off the edge. No! Oh, he's gonna land on me! He chopped me in the ass! <laughs> oh, we hit him like four times there and it didn't do jack. Oh god, his star doesn't regenerate fast enough, and then now I'm screwed. Oh. Oh my god, we got him! Oh! Did that count? We t we died, we touched the screen and died- his sword and died. Oh, thank god they gave it to us. Holy... You know, I wouldn't put him past it... ...for you to be able to kill yourself on the boss's weapon. Um... What is this thing? How are you supposed to kill these things? They always... Oh, there we go. That's weird. Whoa, my god, it's a rock... ...avalanche. I wouldn't put them past it in this game to let you kill yourself on the dead boss's weapon after you defeated him and then have to fight him again. Oh god, no! No, why did you do that to me? Oh, oh god. 
This game is like the most pleasant nightmare I've ever had in my life. <laughs> like, it looks so cheery, but it is the worst game I've ever played. Oh, it's so terrible. The funny thing is, is like, the quality of this game is up there. Like, I would say this is one of the better made NES games I've ever played. The difficulty is insanely unfair and unfun. Sorry, just taking a, a moment to have a sip of my drink here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Survive that. Alright, here we go. Oh god, oh, I forgot about this. Oh, you bastards. If the enemies didn't, like, chase you over, like, blocks, they could- What is that thing?! Can we kill it? Oh! Okay. Well, don't- don't mess with that. Whatever the hell that thing was. Oh, that's life. Okay, orange is the juice of life. Oh god, these are gonna fall, aren't they? I knew it! At least I gave you a hint earlier on, showing you that those things can fall. What are these guys? Can they be killed? No, they're just there to... It's gonna take a hit or two. Oh, I didn't take a hit. Okay. Whoa. That was quite a leap of faith. Oh, okay. There's a effing missile launcher over there. Oh my god. Oh, well, it was a bomb. I thought that was a switch. Oh, there's rocks everywhere. Oh, you're gonna kill me with candy. <laughs> A little guy holding a leaf through a piece of candy at me and it killed me. Ah. Oh. Jesus. Oh, you had one left. You're just waiting for me, eh? Oh, God. Okay, that is a bomb. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. Don't throw candy! Ah! Oh, the star didn't even go up the hill! Momentum killed it! Oh, God. Damn you. <laughs> Uh, what kind of game genie codes exist for this? Oh my god. What's the point in killing these, like, little tanuki raccoon things? Oh, I guess they give you potions. I guess that is the point. Okay, so if I hold up... Doesn't do anything. Still don't know how to use these potions exactly. Oh yeah, that does nothing, and then I'm dead. Fuck. <sighs> you know what's interesting? The fireball in Mario definitely bounced, but I don't remember it, like, missing Goombas and stuff. I think it was technically possible, but... I don't remember it happening all that often. Oh god. You know, if you were really good at this game, I don't even think it would look all that impressive. That's the, like, maddening thing about a game like this. It's like... Just watching somebody else play it, it doesn't actually look that hard. But uh, you better believe it is, sucker. Oh, God! Like that. Blind jump onto an upper screen and land in a bug that will eat you. Oh, not again! Not again! Okay. Come on, we need this health, baby. There we go. The juice of life. Orange juice. Oh god, I forgot about this! My palms are legit sweaty. This is like old school when I was a kid playing a video game, you get the sweaty palms. Because you're playing so hard. Ah! Oh, that one more. Oh, come on. <laughs> How are you supposed to get this thing? It's just gonna blow up on me. Oh, God. Ha-ha! Oh, I think I got an extra life there. I'm saving that... pink thing. Oh, God damn it. Got me. Ah! Oh, no! Stop! Stop! Oh, these ramps are- Oh my god, they just ramp you right into them. Maybe you just have to go. Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, 
Oh god. Oh, and it chases me into the spikes? Are you kidding me? The man who made this game should be shot. <laughs> they should not only take away his license to make video games, they should forbid him from ever procreating. Oh god, right into the spikes. He is not human. I'm looking up the name. We're gonna look up a photo of the man who made this and is causing all our misery after this, guys. Oh god. Oh! Son of a bitch. Huh. Die! Okay, whatever. Okay, I think you just have to go. Nope. That just kills you too. No, that just extra kills you. Oh god, you can't even just go! What are you supposed to do here? Why? Why did I decide to play this game? This is the worst game I've ever played in my life. This game fucking sucks. It's terrible. Oh god, it's the worst best made game I've ever played. This is the worst. Save me. 1990s Sunsoft of North America. You forbade Americans from playing this game. You made the right decision, folks. Why am I doing this? Why? Oh, for the love of God! Oh yeah, send these guys at me too, why not? Oh, they didn't come back to kill me? Oh, I'm disappointed. Oh, here they come, two at a time, can't even recharge my star fast enough, and it jumps over the guy! Perfect! Oh, he's turning around to kill me, but we got him first. Okay, the beetle of death avoided. Alright, oh! Son of a bee. Son of a bee. Okay. We're doing okay, I think. I don't know. Can't tell anymore. Oh man, we haven't even seen the level boss for this level. I just want to remind you guys of that. We have no idea what he looks like. Is he man or beast? Probably gonna kill us the second we see him. Alright. Whoa! Into the spikes. Of course spikes are there. Why- why wouldn't you put instant death spikes there in a children's game? You know what I hate? Is when children's games are playable for the children. Oh, screw you, buddy. Okay, we can't get past this screen. Ugh. Ah, fucker! <laughs> like, as soon as the rock falls, you're on a ramp. Oh, God. It's like there's a ramp to your right, and sp uh, rocks are gonna fall on you there. There's a ramp to your left, rocks are gonna fall on you there. Where, where are you supposed to go? You just have to have enough hits to get through it. I kind of legit want to watch a speedrun of this game after, I don't know, a couple more deaths here. But this is, this is, this is nuts. This is nuts. I read that this game was known as being fairly difficult, and I was like, eh, how hard could it be? Eh, how hard could it be? It's not even, like, the kind of challenging where, like, um, you know, you're like, well, it's hard, but I can get past it. Because it's not, it doesn't feel like a fair hardness. Like, that second level boss, that was just ridiculous. You had to shoot him in the face, and then he would, like, chase you down and, like, chop your butt off. And, like, if you didn't run fast enough, he'd get you. And if you ran fast enough, he'd get you. And, like, I don't even know how we beat that boss, frankly. Still amazed it actually happened. Okay, you just gotta like take your time at some of these parts. Okay, so we can kind of make it to this part without too much problem. You know, if I could figure out oh, that orange juice only gets you up to three out of four stars or hearts or whatever, it doesn't even max you out. Of course, you wouldn't want the health potion to actually max you out on health. Don't want to make the game too easy or anything. Um. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I think just jumping over that guy is the best strategy there. Okay, what does the star actually do anything here? Oh, somebody got that to trigger. Oh, well, that's gonna hit me. Oh, see, as soon as I go on that ramp, the thing's gonna land on me. 
Like, this is- this is the worst designed... Ah, oh, yeah, like, there's no way to avoid it. And now I'm just dead, because I can't take one hit. Wow, that screen is the worst screen in video game history. I have to say, that is... Pardon the language, but... Unfun. Yeah, just instant death spikes. Wow. This game fucking sucks. You know what's sad is developers, like, spend so much time crafting all these characters, all these levels, and all this stuff. They make their game unplayable, and then it's like, nobody actually enjoys it, and it's like... You blew it, buddy. You had a chance to make a game that was fun, that people would enjoy, and you just made a piece of garbage. <laughs> sorry, sorry, buddy! Sorry, dude who made this game, but, uh, learn how to make a game, man. Learn how to make a game, man. Yeah, like, what are you supposed to do there? I don't know. It's like the most- one of the most difficult threading the needles I've ever seen in video game history of what you have to do there. And if you land on the spikes, you're just done. Game over. I'll try it one more time. Because I, I- I just legit- it's like the gamer in me, I'm like, but can it be beaten? You know, like, I'm just... Curious. But at the same time, I kind of feel like, I don't know. At first, I was having a bit of fun with this game. Then I was shocked by its difficulty, but I was like, if we just persevere, unlimited continues, it seems, eventually we'll get through it. Now I feel like I'm just over it. Now I'm like, eh, whatever, you win game. You don't want to be beaten, I don't want to beat you. Apparently this game is actually not worth that much, which you'd think a game that, uh only ever released in Japan and Scandinavia would be worth a lot, because it'd be quite rare. But it is not worth all that much, comparatively speaking, and... Hate to keep raining on, like, ragging on the game, but I totally get it, man. Like, they just, they made a terrible game. So funny, because, like, we've played some bad games before, and some bad games just look awful, you know? This game definitely doesn't look like a bad NES game. Okay, made that part. Oh god, and he, of course he jumped. Two hits. So basically I can only take one hit in this entire... Oh wait, I can now take two hits. I was gonna say I can only take one hit in this entire... course. Oh, there's the one hit, and now I'm screwed. So I definitely, yeah, can't do that. Oh, but we somehow made it through! Okay, maybe the trick is to just damage boost- are you kidding me? Damage boost through that whole area. Oh, thank god, they have the courtesy to start you here. Nice try. Oh god. I'm just gonna avoid that thing. HOLY sh- <laughs> Okay. Hmm. My useless star weapon. I can hit one of them. That's something. Oh, you... He shook me off. Alright, well there's one down. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Get away! He's gonna kill us all! He's gonna kill us all! <laughs> oh god. Uh, uh, oh god. What is that, a bee? What is that? Okay, we can't kill him. Okay. <sighs> my palms are- this is my last life, by the way. We don't make it here, we don't make it! Oh, 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 what is this? Ah, what? I'm just straight dead! <laughs> What? What is, what is this game? What is this game? Why am I still playing? I feel like all gamers are part junkie. What do you guys think about that? Like, this game is causing me nothing but pain. So much, so much pain. So many suicides. And yet, I keep coming back. As if I like it. 
I will say, we did get a little farther in the level, and it's kind of... <sighs> giving me the false hope to keep on going here. <laughs> oh, God. Stupid beetle. Alright. I wish they gave you four hits. If they gave you four hits, we'd be in business, baby. But they gave you three hits, it's like, just barely not enough, you know? Alright. Here we go. Ah! Whatever. The, uh... Okay, use the health potion. Okay, we gotta not take a hit on this one. Okay. And then, oh, just go for it. Oh, okay, we made it. That's what I was trying to do. I don't know how you get through that part without taking a hit, but I can damage boost my way through it. I think pretty consistently now. Oh, God, die. Why is my, what? I've missed this thing more times than I've shot. Oh my God, forget it. You get to live! Oh god! Ah. Oh, my palms are so sweaty. One more hit. And we're dead. Oh god. If we can get to the boss at least, maybe we'll just respawn at the boss. Okay, we have three lives. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I can't even hit this thing. Oh, we're just dead. I don't think- I don't think the star bloody hit it once! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, it starts you over here, eh? Looks like there's a hole in the tree below us. See, I kind of wonder if that's like a secret. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, it's not- Okay, well, it's a secret death if you want to die in a very interesting way. That's something you can do. Why would they do that? Well, they put a secret in a game that's totally useless. Okay, let's go, baby. You wanna dance? Cause we'll dance. Clowns. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo! Feel alive! <laughs> yeah, that star did nothing. I gotta get better at my, uh, star shooting, I think. It's really holding me back. Okay, that part's not too bad. Gotta actually hit this guy here. Ah! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh! I hit him back in the water. Okay. Okay, you can only, I think, hit him when he shoots at you. Which means that he's, he's gonna hit me every time I hit him. I don't know how to avoid his shots. Oh, bloody hell. Oh no! I shot in the wrong direction, and he got me. Fuck me. <sighs> I feel like now I do just want it to end. It's bloody game. Oh, look at them all. They taste blood! <laughs> oh, they all suicided after me. Because I'm stupid. I'm a dummy. I don't know what the point of those raccoons is. Once you figure them out, they're pretty easy to kill. Rocks, go back. Oh man, see the problem with that boss that we're fighting there? Oh shit. Well, I might not have it in me to actually beat this. I mean, I definitely don't have it in me to beat the whole game, but uh... The old school NES challenge actually is a little satisfying when you do get good at games, but I will say, like with that boss, I'm just thinking about it, like unless he dies in three hits, there's no way we can beat him because like every time I hit him, uh, I take a hit and at max I can take, th if I have full life, I can take three hits, which I never have full life. Um, I always have just three hits, so if he doesn't die in two hits, we're kind of screwed. Unless I can figure out a way to dodge his attacks. 
Maybe that's the play. Maybe forget about trying to hit him and just figure out how to dodge his attacks. Always dodge the first attack and then you get a free shot on him or something. Like, we'll try that, I guess. If, if we even make it to him. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I got screwed up because I didn't hit the mine there and then it like, my brain had like a brain fart and I didn't know what to do and... Oh god, and I took an extra hit. Oh god, it is over. Ugh. Bloody hell. Yeah, I think- I, I think I'm just done. <clears throat> Mentally, I don't know if I can- oh god, keep going. Oh god, of course he hit me, yeah. Like, unless I get through this part... somehow. Ugh. Here we go. Just take that hit. And you gotta go for it. Alright, we can only take one hit at the boss, <laughs> and we have no extra tries. If we even get to the boss... Oh, son of a bitch! Alright, see ya. See ya, evil raccoon. Oh my god! Ha, 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 oh god! What are these things? They're like weird little, like, uh... They look like bees made out of honey. Alright, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> One more shot. That last round was a mess. Oh god. I would really like to know if anyone watching this has ever A, played this game, and B, how far you can get. Very curious. I mean, certainly the boss can be beat of this level, you know, like, all NES games uh, were based on patterns. All video games are based on patterns. Every boss has a pattern. You can beat every boss without taking a single hit. The thing is, in order to figure out a boss's pattern, you need experience playing the boss, and the only way you can get experience playing the boss is to die fighting the boss. Unless you're some sort of, like, gaming savant who can, like, react with, like, bullet time precision the first time you encounter a new boss. Um, it's always kind of a crapshoot for a totally new boss. I mean, on easy games, the bosses will telegraph their moves a bit more clearly, and the levels will train you a bit and like, the moves you need to beat the boss, but... Okay... Oh. Oh, wait. Those candy things do nothing? Oh, we are actually in a good position. And get this one down. Oh, without taking the hit. That's the way you do it. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> How did I do that? Okay. Oh my god! I can't believe we made it through that part without taking a hit. That was more chance than anything. Well, he's peacing out. He knows Jay has... <laughs> Jay don't play no more, bitch. Come to dominate you, little rat creatures. Oh, nice try. He's like, I'm out! I'm out! Okay, wow. Not only are we making it to the boss with pretty much max health for this level, but we also have the healing potion. If we ever had a chance to beat this boss, folks, this was it. I don't script the jumps here, and when I didn't. Okay, I gotta f I gotta dodge his attack, I think. Oh! Oh! Oh god. Hit him! <laughs> Okay, we can dodge those attacks! Oh my god, my palms are so sweaty, the controller's like almost slipping out of my hands. Oh god. Okay, I think I- I'm pretty sure I can dodge... ...these attacks. Oh god! Oh no! Oh, I still have my healing potion though, right? I don't lose it? Okay, 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 we're in business! We're in business! We're in biz... ...ness? Because we're playing on the NES? There we go. Oink. Oh! Okay, we're losing the business! 
We're losing the business! Okay, we got that one. Get out of here. Huh. Stupid star! Why am I trying to kill this thing? I feel like running away from these guys is the better way to go, typically. Oh god, oh god. That's okay. We took one hit stupidly. But if I play the boss right, he won't hit us at all. Mighty big if. We have one healing potion. Tide us over. Okay, come on, we got this. Dig deep, Jay. Dig. Deep. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, I used my heal! Ah! 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 <laughs> double suicide! Ugh! You know what the worst thing is? It's the goddamn star bounce. It bounces over the boss. I have never in my life- Sorry, I'm getting a little upset now. I've never in my life played a video game that had such a fucking useless power-up! Ugh! This is ridiculous! This is insane! I can't believe how bad this game is! Oh god! Oh god, why? Why did they make this piece of shit? I'm sorry, excuse the language! Excuse the language. Oh god. Why did they make this? Like, there's so many bad design decisions in this game, it's unbelievable! A boss where it's like you can insta death in the water below. Oh yeah, thanks for that. Oh god. There's gotta be like a single jump we can do over his attack and then just launch the star in his face. Oh! Oh, and he still launches another shot at you. <sighs> well, I mean this is a this is the best shot we ever had, folks. I feel proud. Oh, we fucking did it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh god, it means we have to keep playing. Oh god. Hey, those look like bums. Just saying. We were all thinking it. Oh god, a dinosaur that shoots fireballs at us. We're on Dino Island all of a sudden. The dinosaur's like, uh, what just happened? All right. I hate this star weapon so badly. It is just so terrible as a weapon. Oh yeah, we definitely don't want to be on those guys. It's kind of cool. To I, I dig the dinosaur island. It's pretty neat. Ooh, look at this. Sand dunes. Oh my god, it's like a king riding an ostrich. Oh, little tribal dudes. Oh god, oh god. He's coming for blood. Alright. Oh, he's coming up! Oh, we killed him somehow. Oh! Jeez! Oh! It bows and arrows now, eh? Well, I'm powered by stars, so... Eat that. Oh, god! Jeez. Play for keeps around here. I'm trying to think of other games this reminds me of. Did I already say Mega Man? It's a bit Mega Man-y. Oh, yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. Ain't my first rodeo, sir. Oh, God! Are you kidding me? As if it wasn't enough to avoid those spikes. You have a, a spiky wall come after you, too? It's crazy. Alright. Whee! We can... We don't have to be enemies with the pterodactyls, we can ride them. Ride them all night long. You know what I'm saying. Hey, where's this ostrich riding king? Oh, I just jumped right over him. Huh! Oh! Shit! Oh god! The star! He's faster than me! I was trampled by a king. Little black bald king there. Dinosaur's like, I will stop firing fireballs at you, and I will obey your commands. Can Brontosaurus shoot fireballs? 
I didn't know if that- I don't know if that's Jurassic Park canon or not. Huh. Okay, let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! 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 Ah! Ah! We lived! We lived! Oh my god. This game is like a cruel joke, man. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore with my life. Okay, uh, one down. Oh, Jesus. It started in fire. Take your time. Alright, we made it. Oh, that health? Yes! Oh my god, that's max health, too. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh god! Oh god! Die! No! Oh god, they jump up here! Oh, the god, the star is useless! Oh, the ball! Didn't mean to do that. Oh, the star is useless, I forgot! Oh, it's so useless! Oh god! Die! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh god! Oh, the stars! A piece of shit! Oh god, there's stars everywhere! Oh, how are you supposed to get over that? Oh my god! Oh, we're just dead here. Now the guy's just jumping all over the place, shh, throwing an axe at us. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess we should take our time here. Oh yeah, we're about to die. Oh, that worked. I didn't know if that would work or not. We've already taken one hit, though, so it's not good. Okay, that's health. We'll take that. I think you have to, like... To, to effectively do this, I think you have to, like, ride stars at a certain point. Oh, God. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to get past that. Yeah, I, I see, it feels like you're always gonna take a hit there! Oh god. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on, I can't even hit this guy. The worst part is, after you throw a star, you have to wait until it's like off-screen or destroyed before you can like throw another one. I can't even hit this guy. Oh god. Oh, I got him again, I think. Oh, come on. One more hit, I think. Possibly not. No, oh, come on! Oh! <laughs> that stupid axe! Just boomerangs all over the place. Oh, God. <sighs> you know what? That guy felt more doable than the water guy in some ways, but also less doable. So I don't know what I'm saying, really. Oh, God. Oh, you bastards. And I'm just dead. Yeah, this run ain't happening. All right, one more try. I don't know why. I give up. You, you broke my- you broke my will to live, Mr. Gimmick. I thought I loved NES games. Now I'm rethinking my life. I'm rethinking my choices. Rethinking my hobbies. My joys in life, everything. Hmm. Okay, I got this. Can avoid those guys. I think avoiding those little sword guys and just piecing out is the way to go. Oops. Ugh. Like imagine in Mario, if after you threw a fireball, you had to wait before you could throw another one. And I know like after you throw like three or four you gotta wait, but like imagine if it was just like every one, you know? Be brutal. Brutes, as the, the kids say. Okay, I can't take another hit, so I gotta be very careful here. There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck. Had a bomb, too. Oh, it starts me here, huh? 
Ooh, two bombs. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the... Nah, uh, the boss is just gonna dodge all the bombs. I was gonna say, maybe having the bombs of the boss will make a big difference, but I don't think it will. Oh. I think I got an extra life. Huh. Well, maybe that'll make a difference, I don't know. Fuck if I know at this point. Alright, that part isn't too bad if you don't screw it up. Hey, guess what? If you don't screw it up, it ain't that hard. Okay. It's gonna be a bunch of little guys, we're just gonna run past them. Time to make our move, folks. <clears throat> okay, go, 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 go! Go, go, grab- oh, we can't even grab the potion! Shoot, I actually probably would have liked a bit more health. Oh god, I don't know how to get past this one flame without taking a hit. Oh! God! Okay. Oh my god, somehow we got him! Oh, that wasn't even the boss?! Oh no... Are you serious? Wait, am I supposed to go up there? Because if I'm supposed to jump on a star to go up there, I don't know how to do that. Ah, oh, of course you guys can. Of course you guys can kill me. Ha! See you, suckers. Oh, it's a giant egg. Oh, come on! The bomb missed him! Oh, Die! Die! Ugh! Die! Oh, the fucking star is bouncing over him! Oh, we got him! Oh, wait. He got us? Wait, what?! The last star hit him, but we died! What?! Don't understand the logic of that. Oh, this is the worst. The enemies stand right where it's like the star bounces over them. Oh, God. Oh, my God. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm done. I'm done. I'll, I'll, I'll play the last life. But, honestly, the star weapon in this game is unusable to the point where it's, like, the worst... It's one of the worst video game weapons I've ever seen in my life. Like, no joke, it is hot, steaming garbage. In fact, it's not even garbage, it's something else, but I don't want to say it on a very nice family-friendly stream. We're trying to keep this PG, folks. In case you haven't noticed with all the profanity and, uh, rants and cursing. Profanity, profanity laden family stream. Ah, oh God, you fucking son of a bitch. Never thought I'd say that to a chickadee. <clears throat> but, uh, Mr. Gimmick was only ever released in Scandinavia for good reason. Don't play it. It's terrible. One of the worst games I've ever played in my life. The funny thing is, it's very well made. Very well made. Completely unfair, the weapon sucks, the levels are too hard, they're designed in unfair, unfun ways, and if you want a challenge, play it. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> you know, it's one of those interesting things where old NES games, sometimes the really hard, unfair ones were kind of fun to get good at. So I get it. I don't know. Maybe part of you is watching this and you're like, I could beat that chickadee and you want to like go and like show me how it's done. Have at it, sir. Go for it, you rascal. As for me, I think Mr. Gimmicks is making me rethink a lot of things in my life. Um, and yeah, I truly, I think that star weapon is one of the worst designed weapons ever. And they designed the bosses in such an annoying way that they would always stand where your weapon would bounce over their head. So... I don't know what the F you're supposed to do. I guess I'm just not good enough at video games. I suck. Clearly somebody who's better can do it than me, but I mean, as a normal gaming dude who tried a game, I would definitely not recommend anyone go through this. So, hey, I hope the creator of Mr. Gimmick watches this one day and realizes why his game was a brutal failure. It's because he made it terrible. <laughs> Sorry. 
You clearly have skill, sir. You clearly knew how to maximize the NES and produce a game that almost could rival a 16-bit game, but you made it terrible. You have terrible gameplay mechanics. If Miyamoto was could see this game, he would have fired you on the spot, sir. And I I stand by all of those <laughs> claims. So there you go. As one game designer to another. Hey, I'm not a professional. I'm making a Battletech fan game in my spare time, but... There's no way my game is as terrible as this. Even as hard as I make it sometimes, it's not like this. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about Mr. Gimmick. Whatever. We had fun with it here today. It was interesting to see. Um, but uh, yeah, Scandinavia, Japan, maybe you've seen it. Otherwise, it was a game you never played. What do you guys think of Mr. Gimmick here? What do you think? Am I being a big old baby about it? Am I just terrible? Am I a, a gaming whiner? Or does this truly look like... Uh, you know, a game by Satan himself. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed my pain and you had a lot of fun listening to me have a couple of mental breakdowns during this game. If you did, don't forget to like the video, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, till next time. Peace.